You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. It's such a loaded thing for these two people to meet. You know, two people in the audience have been following their separate stories for such a long time. What? I don't know who Jon Snow is. No one's been chatting about him. King in the what? No, that's not how this goes. I, I loved that scene. I loved doing it. I loved it on paper. I loved it. had a comedic quality to it. You know, he walks in, they, him and Davos walk in with no entourage. Rightful heir to the Iron Throne. Rightful queen of the Andals and the First Men. Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. The mother of dragons. The Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. The Unburnt. The Breaker of Chains. And then he's announced, and they haven't even really decided what he's called yet. This is Jon Snow. He's king in the north. The world's colliding, and you realize the difference between these worlds. Thank you for traveling so far, my lord. I hope the seas weren't too rough. The winds were kind, your grace. She's ready for it when he comes in, but she tries to do her diplomatic thing first. Apologies. I have a flea-bottom accent, I know. But Jon Snow is king in the north, your grace. He's not a lord. But I could have sworn I read the last king in the north was Torrin Stark. They don't like each other, and she's Daenerys is going to be like, "This is where it's at. You don't know. This is I have drag. Like I have dragons. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. I am not. Did you see three dragons flying overhead when you arrived? I did. Tyrion trusts John. He's letting Daenerys know that right now, yes, she has dragons. Yes, she she could just invade and do whatever she wanted, but ultimately she needs allies. Honor the pledge your ancestor made to mine. Bend the knee and I will name you Warden of the North. But again, John just gets down to the practicalities. You're not guilty of your father's crimes, and I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then why are you here? Because I need your help, and you need mine. For John, his, his objectives hasn't really changed. He's still got the army of the dead to deal with. That's his one focus. She sees his kind of noble choices and his clear-headed kind of ideas of what it is that he needs for his people and what he believes to be right. And it's an attractive quality for her because it's something that she also agrees with. I'm not your enemy. The dead are the enemy. The dead. I hope the fans see kind of realization of what I think they've all been maybe waiting for is for these worlds to be collided. <laughs>